Well, Chris, uh, political lady, she could be just a superstar in, in 2018, the way she's performed last year, off to a great start right now with this race. Yeah, she, she proved herself a lot last year, so we have a lot of good hopes for, for her in the coming year. And it looked like she's the kind of horse that can run on any surface, you know? So, and pretty much any distance? Yeah. What did you see in this race? She got a little, a little tiny bit tired, I think. Yeah, and Corona, and he always makes her heart pound right yeah. at the very end of those races. Yeah. He, uh, he, likes, he likes the battles, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's just a really gutty horse. We're a little nervous this first time Jesus riding him, and um, but you know, as long as he keeps winning, we'll keep coming, right? Got the job done. Yeah. Right now, 1970. That ties Yankee for the. I'm on the top times. We'll have to see what. I the, think he'll uh, make the final. Time. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. But uh, tell me about the overall plan for the uh, 2018 campaign for this horse. So. Um, we're running him here. Uh, you know, this is about the only race we really have to run in uh, until later on in the fall. So we're gonna run him here and then thinking about going over to Rio Dosa and trying some of those derbies and then coming back for the fall campaign. Um, you know, one step at a time, the Super Derby is really the one that we're pointing to. And if he can win that, you know, we'd love to get in to the big one at the end. But uh, that's kind of what we're pointing towards more is the Super Derby. But between now and then, who knows? One of the things that I appreciate is that you don't miss his races. I mean, you're always here to watch him, whether it's a trial or yeah, uh, just like you said, a very special horse, part of the family. Yeah, I don't know how often you get a chance to to have a horse like him, right? Um, probably could be in this business a long time, uh, and so yeah, we're we're gonna we're coming back down for the finals. Kyle will actually be here for the finals. Uh, the, he was at the NFLPA's uh, Players Association meetings, so uh, yeah, it's just he's a special horse. Uh, not only is he as good as he is, we raised him, and uh, he's the last colt out of executive looks, and uh, so yeah, he's a special horse. Well, exciting news! Can't wait to the final and uh, have a chance to see uh, Mr. Benoit out here. All right, thank you. All right, Mimi, congratulations. A lot easier when you don't finish, when you don't start 10th, right? Yeah. Yeah, and the track was so much better than it was last night, too. So, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Chris, Chris did a great job, and Matt did a great job of getting ready, and of course feels good. What can I say? I'm just excited to be here. <laughs> now, this horse has just shown such a strong kick in all his recent races, especially at the top grade one level and such uh, what do you think gives them that added punch is that just kind of like your breeding program the way you go about things? yeah his mama died uh, so I don't have her anymore but um, he's just he's a happy horse in training now and and you know he's a favorite cartel that's uh, that's kind of a good top side for for any mare and um, I don't know I'm just excited that, that we have something that has that much kick on the end of it Tell me a little bit about the background on the mare. Um, Red Hawk Chick is by Hawkinson. Um, I bred her. She's her mother's Chick's Tail, who's my kind of old uh, foundation mare at this point. Um, she colicked when she had her the baby after Yankee, who I sent through the sale and was gonna take forty thousand for him and. Gary Fails talked me into going one more time, so he bought him back for 42, so his nickname is 42. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, she she colicked and died, and it was, uh, you know, it's just awful when that happens, but it, it happens, it's the horse business. Yeah. So I'm just I'm just excited about him, he's, he's pretty sound, so I think I'm actually gonna have an old horse who can run for a couple more years. That's great, and, and you've had some nice ones over the years as well. Yes, I have. I've been blessed with that, and, and uh, it's nice to have another one. Congratulations. Thank you very much.